Hello and welcome to the Black Lodge Games Podcast. I am Nick, and as always, I'm joined by my friend Matt. Today, we are going to be talking about that poisonous mindset we've discussed elsewhere, which is poisoning, uh, feeding the gaming hobby in many in many ways and getting into some specifics about what exactly immersion is why and how you can undertake that uh what activities you can do why why are you even doing it um matt i know you and i both have a lot uh we can talk about both of these these things so i'm going to kick it off to you first what what is this loser mentality which is pervading all of table like gaming i've talked about it several times it's the race to the bottom yeah it's it's the minimum wage mentality of tabletop gaming <laughs> yes it's uh oh man I, I it's even really a little bit hard to on to know where to start on this because we're yeah. we're primarily we kind of fell into this osr corner of twitter and youtube um mm. and like we've said many times we're not actually osr people uh <laughs> which no. it's probably evident to a lot of you um but when we talk about things like role playing and the importance of role playing in a role playing game uh we are constantly faced with people who are like you guys are just you're just actors uh, if I wanted to, to, to talk in character, I'd join a drama class or improv class and I just want to play the game. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm counting, bro. yeah, if I'm, if I'm counting my arrows and tracking my encumbrance, then that's role playing. If I'm, if I'm a thief and I steal things or I climb the wall, I'm playing my role in the game. And this is like, we so stupid. It's so, so stupid. Wrong. It's so stupid. Um, and for the record, if you're one of these people that uh, th thinks that we're completely wrong on this, we don't care. You, like, we can't stop you from playing the game the way you do. We don't even really want to stop you. Uh, but we we really hate this attitude because there's we actually get a lot more out of our games uh, because we role play. Uh, and it's for for people out there that have kind of had these moments of immersion uh while role playing that you you know what we're talking about and and why it is a superior experience and an attitude where you want to not only just forego that but think it's an active negative when people do do this when people are uh are acting at the table or you know engaging in right. some sort of like drama class um, it's not only a, a, like a complete mischaracterization of what's going on anyway. It's like, that is such a loser mentality. Yeah. Like in, such in a different a context mentality. <clears throat> or, you know, may, maybe several years ago, you know, it's a, it's a hater mentality. It's right. That's, that's what people. And I'm not against being a hater. <laughs> right. Very, when appropriate. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, and again, you're like, you're correct. If you're one of these people who just wants to roll dice or who are insanely uh, opposed to any kind of effort or improvement in in a game and you just think uh, for some insane reason that anything beyond uh, guzzling Mountain Dew, eating your nachos, rolling dice, and declaring what action or what feat you're activating this round in combat... Um, like you said, Matt, uh, we can't stop you, and we don't even really want to have a conversation about it. At least that's my that's my perspective. You're yeah. you're already lost. Nothing we can we say yeah. <laughs> is going to convince you. But uh, you deserve to be mocked mercilessly, especially <laughs> when you um you know you're you're attacking any excellence, broadly speaking, yep. or any kind of these huge these universal tropes these universal values uh that people have and have expressed in all kinds of media throughout the dawn of time um it's not compelling it's not memorable to anyone else at the table it will not be memorable to you uh that one time you rolled a natural 20 or that one time you used the backstab 
that one time you used greater trip and you didn't get an attack of opportunity when you tripped that goblin. Like, if you, th if you think we're crazy, fine. We're not talking to you. But there are people out there uh, who maybe don't even know what it is that they feel that they enjoy, that they right. like, which draws them in, that compels them to endure your shit prison of a game yeah, <laughs> uh, to keep coming back again and again and again. It's for these reasons. Um, you know, I, th I think that in a large part, this, this loser mentality, this race to the bottom, who can have the shittiest game? Who can, who can have the least, put the least effort in to their game and somehow uh, exalt that as the highest form of, of the activity? <laughs> Um, this complete inversion of, of of anything that anyone would consider good in any other context. Um, you know, it's in large part because the tabletop gaming hobby is uh, has always been, I think, the even more than comic books or movies or, or what have you, the broadest concentration of, like, nerddom. Yeah. Uh, outcasts and losers and, and, and whatever. And people who, you know... Your stereotypical nerd crew, and when uh, these activities, when nerd culture wasn't really a thing, and it certainly wasn't valued, right? Um, it was not cool. You, it was not you know. It wasn't people were cool. not making millions of dollars on off of like nerd culture. This whole lifestyle thing is right. completely new. It's not at all what this the hobby used to be. <laughs> no. No, um, but because it, it comes from that, I think <clears throat> these underachievers, uh, these people who can't or won't do anything more than the bare minimum, and mm -hmm. they've done it for years or decades even, yeah. uh, have it in their head that that is the way, that is the way to go, that is best uh, most refined way of of engaging in the activity. That's not the case. Even though that's what you're hearing from every uh, most other RPG podcasts, every RPG video out there, every live play, your critical roles, your Candela Obscura, what have you. The the worst and all offenders. All their myriad clones. Right, and the worst offenders, honestly, in this mentality, are the people who are like commenters on youtube videos and twitter yes uh, like which is yes. i mean should be fairly obvious it is a right. sewer uh hmm, and hmm, hmm. our our own comment section included uh <laughs> but right <laughs> it's uh yeah like this it's a it's a very poor attitude like if you were to engage like you i think the, the kind of point you've been making is that if you're engaged in any other hobby any other like if you're if you're into making art or you know you know, lifting weights, doing anything, the idea anything that you would, else. that you would do it in a low effort manner is ridiculous. Like the and take the, pride and in and take pride in that. That's that's the thing that makes us so angry about this because it's like if you want to play a shit game, like that's fine, whatever. But the 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 hostility towards anyone who wants to do something a little bit better uh, is right. it's like it's like a what is it like the crab mentality or whatever where is you just yeah. it's like terror. bug man mentality yeah <laughs> you know, uh, exactly the omega male and uh and the other thing is that like the people who are like these are you know it's like oh you guys are actors or, or whatever it's like if you're saying that like what we do in our games or the way that we describe that we play we don't even have to describe it you can look at our games on you know on this channel right. we, this we've been playing this way for a very long time um but you're telling me two things when when you say that. The first is that you don't know anything about role playing, and the second is that you don't know anything about acting, <laughs> like because these are two <laughs> these are two completely right. different activities. Um, and I don't know. We do we do a lot of criticism of like, uh, you know, when people do RPG live plays, it's basically unwatchable across the board. Uh, the exception right. being, of course, like the critical roles and the Candela Obscuras. You know, the, these these games that aren't even really games. They are just performances. Correct. And the the games that we run, 
and the way in which we role play uh, is not like that at all because we are not doing this for an audience. Yeah, we stream it. Right. I mean, it's like if, if, if people want to see how we play, that's cool. But, you know, we're not putting on a performance for people. Um, I, and That's not what immersion is. Yeah. And that's when not we, the purpose. When we talk of, about immersion, and it's not the purpose of of being in character and correct. speaking in character. It's not. It's not to give a performance to entertain even the other people at the table. It's no. It is about trying to become immersed in the character in in the game world, and right. in in that respect, the reason that I find it vital, basically, to try and. Uh, speaking character and to to stay and even when you're not speaking when you're not speaking in character but being in character the entire time um mm -hmm. the point is that for me that is that helps me to become immersed in the experience and when everyone else at the table is doing the same thing and you're all in that experience together it elevates that experience to like these kind of like transcendent incredible experiences and moments um right. that's what being immersed is it being immersed is when everyone at the table is so engaged in the game that the characters in the world takes on a life of its own and you'll have moments that can take your breath away um and we've had so many of those experiences and that's the those are the things that we remember about role-playing games it's like i don't remember right. how much damage i did you know Right. I don't remember how many arrows that I ended up with. Um, I'm not against tracking inventory, but uh, right by any means, I'm making think a broader, yeah, a broader making point, a broader point, which is yeah. accurate. Right, that that is the purpose. That yeah. is where the value comes from. That's where the engagement comes from. That's what for me, and and I know it's the it's the same for you as well. The closer, the better. The quicker. The deeper that I can experience what it is is like to think and feel and behave like my character. Yeah, into and, and that into and, and the the great thing about these games is that you get to play a character who's different than you. You know, right? That's the like, whole. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. I'm yeah. not, I'm not a fighter. I'm not a wizard. I'm not a priest. I'm not a vampire. I'm not a werewolf. You know, I'm not, I'm not any of these people. I'm not an occult investigator, mm -hmm. um, pursuing a morbid, uh, black mass done in New England in the 1920s. I'm not a Bronze Age tribal warrior, uh, going. No. Going into battle for my clan on behalf of the honor of Orlanth. No. Take take your pick. Yeah. Not a character from Star Wars, but I could imagine I could put the effort in as best as I'm able to in the moment and experience what this world would be like. How this person, this character that I've created with all of the, yes, the mechanical statistics and the strength and the intelligence, et cetera, et cetera, uh, but also the motivations. We've talked about motivations and yeah. passions and morality. Uh, that's very different and you're than my own. Just implicit worldview, you know? Implicit worldview. And it's fun to try and take on the life of someone that has a different worldview than you do. Uh, and lives right. in a world that is very different than your own. And to try and do that in a way that is, you know, somewhat authentic. Um, yeah. And all the, when you get down to it, I mean, immersion is, is the primary engagement, is the reason that people come back, is the reason yeah. people remember not only tabletop role-playing games, but every other form of, of media. If mm -hmm. you were reading a book, a book that you remember, a movie that really spoke to you or was really engaging, if it's a good movie, um, or a piece of, of art, 
take take your your pick. It's you're immersed in that world, in that in that character in a different way because the medium is different. Yeah. In a book, in a movie, I'm really. It's like I'm there. You know, yeah. it's I'm I'm in the action. I'm in the drama. I'm experiencing the horror. Right. Of and the of difference. The, situation. the difference with role playing games in this respect is that in a role playing game, you're not. Like, in, like if you're watching a movie or reading a book, you are experiencing those things vicariously through the characters. You are not a participant in that. In a role-playing <clears throat> game, you get to be a participant in that. And right. that is what makes the experience so unique and and so engaging and so addictive when you, when you get there, when you actually have yes. these moments of immersion or these yeah. extended periods of immersion, uh, which is even better. Um, and there's a lot of things that you can do that uh, can get you there quicker. I mean, because we've said this before, even if you are playing in this, this you know, terrible shit style that we don't like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. which you should not be proud of, you should be ashamed of. Um, you should. You should You should be ashamed of, of uh, hating a better style is, is more what it is. Um, but... Right. Uh, even if you're playing like that, you will you will stumble across these moments of immersion. You will have these moments where you're like, "Holy shit, that was amazing! What just happened?" Or like, "That was so intense! Uh, what like what an incredible experience!" It's like that that to me that's the primary experience that you get Correct. out of a role playing game and that you want out of a role playing game. And you don't you can like there there are ways that you can get there quicker. And for longer periods of time, and that is done through role playing. That is done through, you know, talking in character and trying to be in the moment and and do that authentically. Um, yeah, it's like you you don't one one of the constant criticism like criticisms or or I don't know what what you call it this this antagonism towards doing funny voices or you yeah. want to be an actor. This is a drama class. Like, do you, do you have to talk in character to role play or do a voice? The barest, barest, most surface level, uh, you know, interpretation of that question. No, you don't. That's the bare minimum. You've made this point. To roll dice and to say in the third person, I go over and I do the thing. Or my character goes over and he does the, he does the thing. That's the bare minimum yeah, you, to participate in the activity right. at all. You're, you that are not, doing the activity. Correct. You're role playing in name only. Yeah. You're getting at the letter of it, <clears throat> missing the spirit of it completely. Yeah. And... To go back to your your point on on acting and what differentiates role playing from acting, you know, again, that's a unique aspect of role playing games. Not only are you in the driver's seat of this character, yeah, you don't know what there's no story, there's no story beats, there's no there's no script, there's no plot, there's no script. You yourself don't even know what you're going to do, possibly in the next moment yeah. as the character, let alone what other people at the table are doing right. or what the GM is going to provide by way of description, explanation. NPCs. Um, NPCs. You know, random you encounters know? even. You know, it's like you just... Random encounters even. Yeah. You and, know? yeah. And the thing with like... Oh my God. Yeah, this is... The, it drives me... This drives me absolutely crazy. Uh, acting is basically like it, it is performance for the benefit of other people. And actors, they get a script, they rehearse uh, an enormous amount in preparation for performances. Uh, and the the whole idea behind that is that you rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. And you do this enough until you are not thinking about the text and you you don't have to think about what's what's going to happen next so you can kind of be in this in this moment um 
but you do you always know where things are going what's going to happen and the right. the fun in that situation and why people get addicted to it is because you you do you do in a sense you you get this these this sense of immersion in 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 the character when you are living in the text that much um you have freedom to have all of this spontaneity within a very very narrow set of boundaries within the boundaries of the script and what's uh and what's been put out before you the plan the blueprint the the railroad basically in a role playing game those constraints are not there the constraints are the world and the mechanics that you engage in um and you have no idea where it's going you don't have a script everything is coming from you um and so in it, it is like i said you're not doing this as performance for other people to convey <clears throat> a specific story or message uh like it's it's you're not very trying to different. look a certain way to convey right. an emotion you're not trying to speak in a certain manner so that the other actor can so that it's readable it's visible right. on camera it's it's for you it's yes. for you and this is it's a it's a it's a non zero sum game here the better that i'm able to do everything that i can do to get myself for me in my character right that's going to everybody at the table is going to sense that feel that yes experience that it's going to make it easier for you right it's going to give the gm more energy right it's going to it's going to make it's going to make it exponentially easier for everybody else to you know get in that zone to get in that place you know yeah um where you will after the fact you know, people have said this immersion is noticing that and when the game is over, you notice that time has sort of slipped slipped you by. Yeah. That's not immersion. That's a that's a sub. That's a symptom of immersion. Yeah, and that's it's, not it's, the immersion it's, it's kind of itself. Like the level of engagement that you need for that experience to happen, like that's a precondition for for immersion. You know, like right. that level of engagement. Um, and yeah, the uh, it's I don't know. It's a uh, the issue of doing like voices as well, uh, the aversion to it. Like I get it. People are generally not good at doing accents. I don't do accents. Right. Uh, and, but my characters do sound a little bit different than me. And that just comes from yeah. <clears throat> the fact that I'm pretending to be someone else. And yeah, you, you and can't not have at least some kind of an affectation. Right. right? <laughs> no. Right. Uh, yeah. it's like, this is the thing that's really kind of crazy to me as well is that, uh, this whole thing of like people basically interpreting this as being like, oh, well, you're just putting so much work into this or like you like it's not fucking hard. Like, were no. you ever a child? Did you yeah. not? Play? Children know this. Yeah. Innately. They know how to do this innately. Do you not know how to play make believe? It's the first game. It's the first yeah. and most primordial game is pretend make believe. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretend. And that's and that's what this is. And. Like you're so you're you're right. Most people can't do voices well. I do, generally speaking, try to do voices. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say whether I'm good or not. I'm probably not not that great. But it doesn't matter. No. Because I'm not trying I'm not I'm not Tom Hardy trying to give or Daniel Day Lewis trying to give a period accurate um, right accent for this particular time and place that a movie is being set in. right i'm doing what i need for me if i don't exactly have the right northern english accent or an indian accent or a new york accent <clears throat> it doesn't matter and when you when you're so viscerally antagonistic to that like psh, you know that i i hate it's it's all yeah. summed up in that like oh you're trying lame, bro how cringe oh, you're trying that you're something trying yeah 
Yeah, it's <laughs> like, it's, it's such you. a poison of yeah. like of this cu this current age. Right. No one can show any sincerity, yeah. any earnestness. It has to be mocked uh, with this like lame um, irony, which is just which yeah. is just a shield for your own cowardice. Exactly. And it is the case that a lot, especially if you're starting out role playing, you just actually you might be in your. I, I got to stop right. you because you said something uh, you used a better, much better term uh, than I did earlier where I was saying I'm trying to do some uh, portray something authentically or, or experience it authentically. And it's it's not that it's about sincerity. Like if you if you try to to if you just try to play pretend basically with a little bit of sincerity, this is really easy. You know, right. have a little bit of earnestness and and don't be afraid of that because I think that's what it comes down to is that people are just right. they're a, they're afraid of be feeling embarrassed about it and it's right. like you're playing D and D already like you got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ship has sailed <laughs> on ship that has sailed. yeah <laughs> yeah like if you if you're sitting down at a table to do this like and you're and you're afraid of you know being a little earnest being a little sincere and you know trying to trying to play your character like you're a bitch fucking you're, you're like a, yeah. you're a bitch like get get some balls play pretend yeah. get <laughs> fucked like get fucked get, yeah. get off your like this ironic high horse um, yeah and i am you know as as any anyone who's watched uh any of our podcast episodes will know i'm far from a bleeding heart but like yeah. <laughs> it can be the case you know people who are coming into the hobby it's reasonable to a certain extent to <clears throat> to have the initial reaction of being you know a little embarrassed or a little, little iffy um but the, pe the people who hate role playing are the same people who are uh all about inclusion for all no no holds barred as if they are some messianic um moral high ground here by that own logic, this this ironic castigation of any kind of excellence or sincerity, more accurately, um, that's only pushing people away. That's only that's only keeping other people from actually attempting to do something that is good, is the best way to engage in the hobby, um, and. Uh, it's just going to perpetuate this this drivel uh mindset of of engaging in in the act in the activity so you know, you're you're wrong on all fronts on mm -hmm. all moral perspectives uh this this hate for uh, against role playing talking in character being sincere at the table uh doing anything more than just rolling dice and laughing and making uh, pop culture references or in jokes mm -hmm. um, is is unambiguously wrong and evil on every 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 moral <laughs> perspective. So you're, every you're, calculus results in the same same outcome. I I gotta ask you what you mean because you're talking about the the people who are all about inclusivity are the ones who are also most opposed to role play. Because I feel like my yeah. perception of the people who are all, all about inclusivity, uh, the lefties are yeah. a lot of them. I'm trying to disambiguate, like, di like, like untangle my perception of what these people are in terms of uh, how they play and what they <laughs> play. Because all I can think is critical role, <laughs> you know, right, like right, these, right. Uh, and the kind of the, the 5e new gamer, uh, and to me, those are people who are at least somewhat they're they're willing to do the the you know the acting uh, portion of this without right anything like that as like the so I'm what not I, sure what where, I mean where, is, where, the, where the thought is going. You got me thinking. I, I think I, not... I think I can I can pick up where where you're going. So there are a subset of these lefties who've polluted everything, but uh -huh. the hobby especially, um, that are not afraid at all to role play anything. It's just their their mind is polluted by 
left mind virus and like, the only thing that they can portray with sincere <laughs> evil uh, the only thing they, they can, can later, later, portray is, sincerely is evil yeah is evil yeah. and degeneracy <laughs> yes so, they're they are role-playing uh but they are role-playing for evil and only yeah. and only evil yeah but this this the banner of sort of inclusivity and being and let's just call it just being nice and being welcoming Okay. This, you know, John Lennon, imagine is 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 this? That's the banner that the whole age has taken up, and even fence sitters and people who are not leftists but are, you know, still part of the commentariat. And almost mm -hmm. everybody in the hobby will talk about safety tools, and they'll talk about being welcoming and not 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 holding anybody back from the hobby. Meanwhile, all their games are trash. You can see it online. <clears throat> you can see all the games that are that are put out. You can go to any convention. And it's... Everyone is welcome to roll in the shit with us. Right. <laughs> but you show any kind of sincerity, especially if you're playing a standard, a problematic right. uh, mythological trope, a uh, right. uh, something that resonates with the human psyche and 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 the human soul, that that is wrong. Um, yeah. So I think. You know, okay. So I think. Don't take actually, it too ser Don't take it too seriously. Uh, so now I think this conversation. The, uh, it's like a role play name. The game has gone in a, the podcast has gone in a direction <laughs> I didn't anticipate. No, uh, but I, th yep. I think there's actually there's there's two types of people that are the enemy in this mm -hmm. case, in that you have. Uh, what we've just been talking about, which are the people on like these kind of like awful lefty, just you, you know exactly who I'm talking about, right? The awful leftists right. who are all about the 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 performative aspects of role playing and going deep on these things, but it's only in their so their very particular socially approved uh, lanes and contexts. Uh, right. And if you do something like you said, like some sort of classical archetype of like, you know, if, if you're like, you know what, I'm going to play uh, a character who's from Europe and yeah. is a man and, <laughs> you know, was a knight. You know, it's like it's like they're yeah. each crusading step, yeah. for, for God. <laughs> yeah. Or for yeah. Who believes that he should protect kind of women from, uh, you know, from right. danger and things like that. That would be <laughs> like unthinkable to these people. Like there's like that's evil. There's boundaries there. You can't do that. You can't uh, do that. Yeah. 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 There's that. But where this conversation, I think, started was definitely on uh the side that's not necessarily, it's not like those people at all. It's just, it's no. grug brain. Uh, I want to roll dice and uh, count my arrows and, uh, and, and not talking character ever. Uh, or, um, or only do things in the, uh, only describe things in thir third person, which this is the thing I don't even understand. If you are going to say dialogue in third person, say like, uh, yeah, I talk to him and uh, I ask him, um, I ask the blacksmith, how much is the sword? Why not yeah. just look at the GM? It's awkward. It's, awkward. it's, it's weird. Like, just look at the GM. You're adding an extra step. And pretend and say, uh, how much is the sword? That's yeah. Even if you don't put a voice <laughs> on it, like, how much, exactly, yeah. how much is the sword? And I... I've heard people say, like, you don't need to talk in character. I've thought about it. I've thought about it. I've thought about it. And my conclusion is that's wrong. They're completely wrong. You're completely, it's completely fucking it's completely, wrong. It's completely yeah. wrong. Like, are you are you sitting at a table rolling dice? Yes. Are you role-playing in name only? Like I said You've earlier. hit the minimum. Yeah. You've, you've hit the bare <laughs> minimum. You, you are not going to minus. get immersed in your character at all. <laughs> you got your D minus. Um, you passed the class. <laughs> you know, like. and, and yeah, and like that's what we're talking about. Yeah. We're not talking about, like you said, um, I'm just playing my role as a, as a level five thief, as yeah. a wizard, or as, uh, as a bruja anarch, as, as whatever it is. Um, it's not... Saying in third person or describing in third person in a very wooden and distanced way 
what right. what like... I'm I'm doing. It's more than that. It's better than that. Role play, role play in those words or in those interpretations are insufficient to match the definition of what we're talking about, which right. is immersion. And... It, yeah, exactly. And it's like the more distant that you are from things, the more difficult it is going to be for you to become immersed. Uh, getting closer to that, to it, closer to the right. material, closer to your character. Uh, and again, we're not talking about being Daniel Day Lewis and like going and cobbling shoes <clears throat> for nine months as you prepare for right, your right. before your session uh, to to come in and play your fighter. That's not it. It's just like just pretend a little bit to be them just pretend it's not hard <laughs> it's not like, it's, it's, it, there's literally nothing easier to there's do. nothing it easier. takes ne zero uh, physical effort right it takes zero mental effort in at least at least in in theory if yeah. you just let yourself go i think you like you put it perfectly that's the perfect encapsulization it's sincere make-believe right. that is what we're trying to do. Yeah. <clears throat> and that sounds trite. It can it may even sound like a, a I, I hope hopefully after you know this this conversation we're having, the distinction doesn't seem meaningless because or or inconsequential. Because it's not inconsequential. Your experience is going to be massively different. It, if you approach it, it, it with is, any of these other focuses. It is massively yes. different because I've done a lot of both styles of being very distant and being much right. much more engaged and much closer. And it's not just like, oh, for me, this is better. It's like I have standards for like right. the ways I evaluate things. And yeah. you know, the distant way, it just comes up short. It's like yeah. Why would you do that when there's something that's so much better that yeah. isn't really that much harder to do? It's not harder to and do it, at it, all. <laughs> it's it's universal. <clears throat> this idea, like this is it's good enough for me, or like this is this is role playing for for me, wrong. or you, yeah, however wrong. you want it. It's wrong. If you're a human being uh, who can even hold a conversation, there are things which are the same about all of us and how our minds and our emotions work. We're 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 the same species. We're built the same way in cert in certain in certain aspects. Yeah. The the only reason you're saying that is because you you won't take a step further. You won't towards, take a risk of looking a little. You won't foolish. take a risk, and whether it's because you're yeah it's and that's, I think that, that I is think that's nine times of out of ten, ninety nine times out of a hundred, that's what it is. You're just you're you're scared to look dumb foolish yeah um cringe even you know, yeah like I, I get it but like like i said the fucking train has already left the station on that you're playing role-playing right. games like and again this is not yeah. i know we live in the age where there's apparently people who make millions of dollars play acting on political role you know playing D, &D but right. that's we all know the truth about <laughs> what it right. meant to play a role-playing right. game as a teenager. It was not right. cool. It was not socially mm -hmm. acceptable. You were already doing something uh, that people looked down on you for. And guess what? You didn't care back then. Why do? You, why would yeah, you care right. now? It's why like, would you, why care, would you now? care for being like marginally more silly about this? You know, like looking marginally more silly. Like it's... It's incredibly, I, that's incredibly cringe to me. It's like, that's just, another thing. Like, it's not, it's not silly. Um, that's a, it's another, it's another, right. um, I, you're, you're it's right. a, it's a, it's an, it's an, but no, no, it, it's an artifact of, again, this race to the bottom because any, any approach towards sincerity has to be done. So ironically, I went ironically yeah. or by the way of, or by way of silliness, right? Like this is, this is a joke. I have to ham it up and. I'm just and because joking. Because we can, we unless, can all. Yeah, I'm know. just joking. Yeah, unless, but maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, you know. Yeah. Like yeah. If, unless we can all laugh laugh about it, um, uproariously after it happens, you know, it it it's it's just this this poisonous way yeah. of viewing 
really of, of viewing the world yeah. that we're all submerged in. Um, this is the, the uh, another uh, point on this is that people who have been like, I've been doing this for years and I don't do it this way and blah, 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 blah. Um, my current game, I have one guy who's played with me previously in, in previous games. And I had two players who have literally never played a role playing game in their life. I didn't give them some preamble about immersion and, and, you know, playing pretend and all of this. I basically right. like we sat down, we went through the character creation rules and right before we started, I said, okay, so basically this is how the game goes. I'm going to like describe kind of the setting, what's happening right now. Um, other people that you meet, I'll be uh, playing them, but you have your one character and you get to choose, uh, do whatever you want. You say whatever you want, um, and we'll just see what happens. If we have to make rolls, then we make rolls. Immediately, immediately, first <laughs> person who's never played a role playing game in their life has no context of what it is. Is doing an accent. Is doing a voice. You know, is immediately yeah. sp speaking in character. And of course, the you know one of the first things out of their mouth was to scream at a peasant and start choking them. Uh, <laughs> but it was. Like, Everybody starts somewhere. Ev but but it was like they they intuitively knew what this was. Like it right. was not <laughs> this is not difficult. You don't need to ex explain this. The only reason we have to explain it here is <laughs> is evidence of how uh, retarded uh, so many people are and how polluted the hobby has become. Yeah. Um, and again, like we said at the beginning. If you're doing it in this terrible, wrong way, there is no hope for you. Yeah, there is nothing that we can say right. to save you. And um, and if and if you're out there and you've found this somehow, and you're like, "Hey, these guys are actually saying something that I've kind of been thinking, I haven't really known how to articulate," or maybe like you just outright agree with us, that's what this is for. Right. That's who this is for. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we're not going to try to convince you guys to not play the way and we, we know it won't it's falling on deaf ears in that case anyway um mm -hmm. but this you i just i have an absolute loathing for the 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 hatred and the the ironic disconnection when it comes right. to playing your actually playing your character and trying to have a little bit of sincerity the the you know the the hatred of sincerity is kind of the basis of this and yes. by being more sincere you get more out of your game like there's that's right. just all there is to it and you can do it however however you want to for for your character if if you if you play the game or if the types of characters you like to play maybe are not the types of characters we like to play or like to play all the time. You have different interests or different inspirations. That's fine. That's the that's the fucking point. Yeah. That's what that's it's, it's your character. It's your interpretation. It's you putting yourself into someone else's shoes as best you can, right. as best you see it. And, and and the other thing is, like we've we've said a million times, like we don't like dungeon crawls and all that shit. Right. You can do this in a dungeon crawl. You can play it'll an make it better role playing yeah. style in a dungeon. Crawl. In a dungeon crawl, using yes. the all the crunch that you have, tracking your fucking inventory and encumbrance and all this stuff, which again, yeah. not not opposed to anyway. But you can you can do all of that. You can. You, it, this doesn't yeah. mean you have to throw yeah. out any other part of the game anything else yeah, like act act as a person would do, would, would right. do as uh, and, to, to these these monsters you see an ooze like what the fuck jesus is that? fucking christ yeah. how terrifying <laughs> is that how am i going to fight it yeah i gotta hit it with my hit it with my club i'm gonna hit it with my axe this is a horrific thing right a, a, zo a, a zombie a ghoul something that is that literally wants to eat you alive and if you whether you know what it is in the milieu of the world, or you, or you, or you don't. And if and it, it's like, it, it's different for each character. The thief might be right. sitting there like, "Holy shit, what is that? I can't deal with this." And the paladin might be like, "We're gonna kill this. Like, we have to kill this thing because right. it must die because it is an unholy affront to <laughs> to law and like the law this... to my faith to my yeah to to you know again and like 
a pal a paladin's a great you know great example like just because you get immunity to fear effects at level whatever like doesn't mean you don't have that human emotion anymore right you can portray my heart is beating out of my chest every fiber of my being wants to run and flee but no 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 I have to. I have to, or I have to try. Maybe I or, still do, and that's a, and that's a you know, great. Or mark it's for... just that your zeal is is like that. The fear is gone. Overwhelming is yeah. oh, because you have this overwhelming zeal yes. and this overwhelming yeah. faith and this overwhelming revulsion to the the monstrosity in front of you. Right. Um, like any of these ways. Yeah, this is like, like, that's immersion. Right. That's it. You will. Ugh. God, it's just, it's crazy to, to think me. that that's like, that, that, that it's that fucking it's, that, better. And that it's an like alternative. Like by not taking that into account. Like that, that, the, that role play, like the role playing in this way is like an alternative to doing the dungeon crawls normal, and, and all the, the, the normal, the, the normal game like, is fucking crazy. Like it, it's absolutely insane. And yeah. it's, it's 100% wrong. And that's what right. we're trying to put over to people as particularly to the people who are receptive do feel this way. Right. Um, or are at the very least curious. Yeah. And this is what is is good. And and to and to rightly the people who don't think as we do, we can't convince you, but you are wrong. Yes. Uh, and un and and there needs to be And your attitude a is unapolog right. Yeah. No no apologies. No, no compromises. Apologies, no compromises. Like the that attitude is such a loser mentality that, like, you're just you're not gonna make it. That's <laughs> that's all there you're is to it. You're not gonna make you're it. You're not gonna make no. it. Um, and the other the other thing is that role playing in this way too. It's like, uh, I don't think we've been unclear about this in the past, but I do think that a lot of people might just from the 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 kind of, I would say the kind of pulse check the 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 underlying tone of a lot of the the conversations we've been having on like twitter and whatnot uh has been that like when we say things like you're playing a character in a world like they're they're trying to it's like you're disconnected from the fact that like this is pulp fantasy or this is you know some other genre and that's not it at all Ridic it's like it's a you, ridiculous you play the character within the constraints of genre and with yes. and, and within that world so if you are playing yes. pulp fantasy you play as a person in that world in, in the style world. of that world uh you know yeah if you're playing a classic supers game there is a certain modality there's a certain worldview implicit in that genre yeah. you play someone in that world you do not bring Spock to a D and D yeah. game. You don't. You don't bring um, unless it's a Gonzo fantasy. You yeah, you, but again, yeah, you don't. That's the genre. <laughs> and you don't bring a Game of Thrones character or a Game of Thrones character's mindset. Yeah. To a classic Golden Age supers game. Right. Exactly. You're playing within the constraints of genre and trying to get immersed in that genre. Um, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. uh, it is it is completely crazy to me uh, that there's any hostility to this. Um, I understand why they get angry that we are hostile <laughs> towards their shit play, well, uh, but it's, they deserve it. They deserve these it. people yeah. are weak. This mindset is poison. Yes, uh, it is ultimately doomed to failure. Um, nobody will remember, least of all yourselves, um, wasting. Your fucking time on a Saturday afternoon or a week a weekday af afternoon, you yourselves will not remember the vast majority of times where you your mother was right. You really were wasting hours, months, years of your life if all yeah. you're doing is just getting together, um, eating trash food, and just making masturbatory uh, pop culture references again and again and again and again. Do you remember this? Do you remember this? Do you remember this? Yeah, we all remember. Yeah. Uh, this is this is boring. You... It's boring in the moment. Um, and people who do that, who are not sincere, and when you ask about their activities or their interests or their worldview, and all that they can give you is a, a, a worldview or a value system through the lens of pop culture 
or don't really care about anything. Yeah. These are literal NPCs. These are not yeah. humans. Yeah. Uh, they are going through, they're just evaporating. Their, their life is evaporating before their eyes. Yeah. I feel like uh, something you said just gave me the inspiration for uh, a meme that I'll have to make, but I'll just explain <laughs> nice. it right now. But it's, uh, you know, that scene from Troy in the very beginning where the little boy's like, I wouldn't want to fight him. He's the, you know, the biggest man I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, he uh, he looks down uh, at him and he says, "That is why no one will remember your name." It's like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I could never do a voice that funny. That is why no one will remember your name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's and you know uh, how how fallen how fallen uh, a world are we when something that is has literally no barrier to entry. Yeah, you could be you could be, you could be in a in a in a wheelchair. You could be has no no effort uh this is you know all there's no effort involved there's only um there's only a, a will to to do it um and and yeah. a a desire to get over your own fucking insecurities your yeah. own your own cow like your own fear of looking mildly ridiculous to a bunch of other Fucking weirdos are around 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 the table. Yeah, and this is the another reason why I find this so the uh, the hostility towards this so weird is that you would think that uh, especially the people who were older who were playing these games, you know, it was not cool when any of us grew up, like for anybody. Right. This was not a cool activity, and so to be doing it in the first place, you have to already have that kind of strength of character to not care right. what other people are going to think and to and to be like i like doing this so i'm gonna do it and you can go fuck yourself basically if you don't like it and right. it's like did you forget that part of it yeah i th i think a big a big <laughs> reason that that <clears throat> that that happens is because um for, for whatever reason I th I think the just how how arcane a lot of the mechanics were, or at least seemed to be back then. Because also, you know, in the current age, we may have seen uh, a million different D twenty iterations, a million mm -hmm. different um, percentile based systems, D uh, dice pool based systems. You know, things were being iterated upon um, at a rapid pace. If things were novel, um, you know, in those you know, the seventies, eighties, um, you know, period period of play, and I I, I think me mechanical mastery became like a, a trap, um, where that for a lot of people became the in some way like the badge of pride, like understanding or um, being yeah, able but... to to like organically understand the the mechanics that, very and that very was well and that was the barrier to entry i think that was certainly also an attitude that was uh this is going a little off topic but uh that was an attitude that was certainly encouraged by the first edition uh dungeon master's guide because this is like right. uh that's a book that's all over the place like it's not organized <laughs> at all right. um, and but at the same time like gygax in the beginning uh it's very explicit that like your players, like nobody who is not a dungeon master should have this book and you should guard the secrets of this manual from your players, uh, mm -hmm. w which I, I don't know about that, but I think that encourages the, the cause there was the kind of the mystique of being like, this is for <clears throat> the DMG. I know what's in the, the dungeon master's guide and you right. can't, you can't know it. Haha. You know, like, yeah, it encouraged that a little bit. Um, and I hate that. <laughs> I absolutely yeah. Hate like that. I I I I understand that there is an effect that can be gained by by doing that, but it's it's a poorly implemented way of doing that. Like there's no there's no there's no meta plot. There's no like world lore that's being kept in. Yeah, it's there's like... no secret. There's no the, the secret of who who you know, the answer to who killed you know Laura Palmer is not in the back of 
the DMG. Right. It's it's just it's like the attack tables. burdensome mechanics. You know, yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's, it's like just a, a, attack and keeping tables. keeping the yeah, everyone's gonna freak out. There's so much more in there. We know, we know. Um, it's but the 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 idea that like keeping the mechanics from the players um, is a uh, is necessarily a good thing it doesn't make any sense to me. Like I understand it doesn't if you're make using, any sense. If you, you like, you don't always want them to, you know, you don't generally want the players to read the setting book. If it's a setting that they've never played, th- that's kind of part of the fun is exploring and discovering this world. Um, right. And if you have the kind of, of players who would look at, you know, like monster stats and try to find like, okay, let's prepare right. for these, the circumstance and yeah. know exactly know how, how, many to, hit how to mechanically the defeat the thing. Um, yes. The most effective strategy for doing that without that coming from in world discovery, you know, like that, that I, that I get, but um, yes. yeah, I don't know. Um, and I, th- I think that w- whatever, whatever the after effects or the lingering, um, that lingering mindset, I think is a lot of what some of the, like the OSR antagonism is not all of it but there is there is a flavor of sort of osr um antagonism to role play that i think stems from an, an over fetishization of mechanics there's there's an aspect of that and i think it's also because they have found that these games are a superior experience to what they were experiencing with, uh, if, if you know, if they're not actually really actually old and old school gamers, uh, you know, mm-hmm. ancient people. Uh, no, if they're, if they're not actual um, gamers from that time, they they tend to find these games a lot more fulfilling than like playing Five E in the current milieu. Um, right, and I don't blame them. I mean, they're they're right. I don't blame them. Yeah, they're Most, they are very right, accurate. But, it's like if right. the, the identification. It's not simply because it's not simply because of the mechanics, um, and right. the yeah. There it's is not even mostly. It's not because even mostly the mechanics because of in, that. My, in my view. I don't think so either. I think it's it's a it's a cultural, uh, it's a cultural and mindset issue, as well as it's a lack. It's a creative bankruptcy. There in and, anything. And, and yeah. there is the, the one thing that I will say is like an overwhelmingly positive thing about. Um, the kind of OSR philosophy is is this focus on player agency, um, and mm. that is so attractive because it's the correct it is the correct way to play, um, right? Like without a doubt. And the I think the last several editions of D anD D and the way in which D anD D is presented to people and how it is played tends to be this is adventure paths. This is uh, the story that the DM has concocted. Correct. And it, that's not a fun experience, and this is obviously superior. So I, I do get that, but it's um, yeah, it's not. <laughs> that doesn't mean you throw the baby out with the bathwater and and you know ditch yes. the role play. But I also think that most of these people didn't ditch the role play. I think they just haven't they never done had it. it. They yeah. they never had it exactly. They never had it. <clears throat> you know, which is which is which is a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. This no, is the what thing. A, is what like, a it's, you know waste. It's what a waste. What a waste. It's because <laughs> you can get so much more. This is the thing. I know we sound so negative so many times, and I get a little aggressive on Twitter, and I'm not going to stop doing that because it's way too right. much fun to make everyone dance. Um, <laughs> but it's uh, we really are doing this out of a out of a desire to have people have a better experience at the table and to and to experience the types of things that we've experienced in our games and right. the level of immersion that we've that we've had. And it's it's, it's a and it's, shame. It's that... just it's right there in front of you. Right. Right. No one is it's holding on the ground in front you of you. You can you. pick it up if you yeah. want to. Like, Do not believe these people who tell you that sincerity is cringe. Yes. That is. That's evil. It's it that is, is evil. Yeah. It is an evil yeah. mindset. It pollutes basically everything. It's like. Oh, you like something? Cringe. You know, it's like fuck right, exactly. you. Exactly. And like, it's like fuck again, you. these you know, gaslighting is a buzzword. Right. That's a that's a prime example of it. You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, you know, uh, it's 
you had a thought that was a little spicy and you can't say it. I, I thought okay. that was a little spicy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which I can't say. Right. Um, many such cases. <laughs> many such cases. Mid 20th century Germans did similar things. No. Um, no. Um, no. If if it wasn't if I if I had to choose if I if I couldn't in some insane insane way. If I had to play role-playing games in any of these other lesser ways, I would have zero interest in it. it immersion is the only thing I yeah. care about. Um, far and away from any other secondary or tertiary, tertiary considerations or um, you know, um, curiosities about the hobby. This is what I want to do. This is the experience I want to have. And if I had to if i had to talk in third person if i had to just <clears throat> make a character build if i had to look at the game tactically um i would have zero interest zero interest this would be boring and it would be a complete waste of time for me yeah um you know so that is that's what we're trying to put out there and that's what we are putting out there this mm -hmm. uh this race to the bottom is not a race that you need to participate in yeah it's um, negative and it's 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 bad f it's, it's it's bad, bad for you in, like yes. you should not have a mentality that worships mediocrity you know and elevates mediocrity I, um you should you should want more basically is what i'm saying exactly we do Yes. We always want more. Number must yeah. go up. Number must always go must up. Must always go up. Yeah. So, I don't know about you, Matt. I think I've said. Yeah, I think I've said my piece everything. on this. Um, for now. Well, you know, it's going to come now, up again. For now, you know. Yeah. You know, it always does, you know. Um, and again, you have questions. You think we're wrong or there's a different way of looking yeah. at it that if we you, haven't covered if you if you let have us know vile vicious hatred for everything that we've yeah. said tell by us in the comments means. yeah by all yes. means make a video Put it in response. the comments yeah make a three-hour live stream about our video um <laughs> very normal thing to do uh yes. you could uh you know roast us on twitter you could make memes about it and we definitely won't put all of it on merch at some point um, but it's, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, 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 feel free. We actually do like talking about this stuff, uh, even with people that we seriously disagree with. Um, and we hope that you guys will take your game to a whole new level at some point. We really yeah. do. We want the best for everyone. We want your games to be better. We want you guys to want more from your games. Right. Uh, it's a, it's a good and virtuous thing to attempt to do yes and in it any, is a natural yeah. inclination and, it, and in any other context the idea that just doing the bare minimum would yeah. be an acceptable like position to have and not be like yes. thought of as a loser yeah that attitude should inspire hatred and revulsion and revulsion yeah in, exactly and you should want any to be sensible excellent person yeah correct exactly and it's well, not hard by the way no, no. But that's it. So, that's it. So thanks I for sticking as around. We have, yeah, Good. as we've uh, put over many times here, I think yeah, the TLDR, as always, is no apologies, no, no compromises. compromises. And with that, I will say uh, we have our Thursday night live streams. We will be streaming uh, this week as well, um, which... I think I'll have this episode out on time. That might be the same day that it goes up as this. Um, mm -hmm. We do have our Blood and Sunshine game. We'll be streaming uh, soon again as well. So and scheduling conflicts are preventing that, but the right. game is still is still ongoing. Mm -hmm. Make no mistake. And uh, soon we're going to be bringing people on the stream. Uh, yes. Guests, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, got our first guest lined up. And uh, we will also be on a couple of other people's shows. Uh, I think 
this Friday. We will. Uh, I'll have to check in with yes. him on Twitter just to make sure. But I think we're going to be going on Aaron the Pedantics channel to talk about backstory and all this sort of stuff. Right. Uh, and then. Um, should be fun yeah and lord mateus made a video response to us our, re- our recent uh <laughs> you know twitter happenings and, and video and whatnot uh we still haven't watched it yet but we are going to uh very much appreciate that you made a video response to us yes, so we, we, we will watch that if so. you're watching this um but yeah thank you very much guys look forward to more of our content absolutely till the next one until the next one